Greetings and welcome back to Animal Crossing. I'm Catherine of Skye and today we're doing kind of a little bit of a tour thing because uh, my hands have been hurting really badly today and kind of all I can do is walk around but I wanted to show you some of the work that I did yesterday. So one of the things that we have for the first time is uh, KK giving a concert. I wonder what time it is. Is it time? It is time! So we can request a concert from KK and or a, uh, a song from him and whatever song we request first apparently we get in the mail the next morning so I have just earned the Nook app for <laughs> apparently I send too many things <laughs> and order too many things uh, so if we look at our items here and normally you could look at this in the building and look at the Nook terminal but we have all of these things and I've kind of tried to look through and like okay which ones do I own and which ones do I need still so we're going to try to request one that we don't have I'm not sure exactly what songs he has because I haven't tested this before so hey KK how you doing so you in the mood for a tune yeah let's hear it cool cool any requests? I can dial up an old favorite or you can just tell me how you're feeling and I'll groove on it. Uh, give me that one song. I'm in a mood. I'll leave it up to you. Hmm. Let's see. I'm in a mood. Let's hear it. What's the mood over in Catherineville? Hey, KK talks like me <laughs> over in Catherineville. I want to be, I feel good. Do we want some up upbeat stuff? Yeah, let's get some happy happy tunes here. Cool, I'm dialed in. Once everyone takes a load off, I'll be ready to jam. Okay, should I just sit? Right on, you hep cats and kittens. Catherine's in the mood for KK Dixie. Oh, nice. Hello. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Mosh pit. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, cat. <laughs> oh my god. Aw, oh, that's so cute. I wonder, can we exit out of these credits, though? No! Okay, well, we're just gonna get to enjoy it, then. Oh my god. I can't even hurry it with any of the buttons. Come on, I want to min-max this! It's cute, though. That actually might be worth having in one of my rooms, you know? Like, one of the happy rooms. I don't know. They all feel happy to me, though. Aw, look at all the cherry blossoms. That's nice. <laughs> look at me dancing in my strawberry hat. Okay, so it was so funny because I put out a request, or I opened my, uh, my island because I had some cool stuff in the Able Sisters shop today. And uh, I said, you know, if you're feeling generous, can you please water my flowers? And people just came together and every single flower on the island is watered. It's amazing. Thank you everyone for doing that. That is just really sweet of you. And somebody dropped three strawberry hats at my feet. So I now have three strawberry hats. So I'm gonna give two away in the, uh, the free uh, corral and I'm gonna wear one of them as you see. So my outfit today is just Able Sisters color variation number four or something like this. And I have my socks on because I was buying various socks, but no shoes. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so hilarious the way they sing. Also, let me know if you enjoy these concerts or if you want me to skip them the next time. Because I can definitely do that as well. Oh, shooting stars. I feel like pressing A. Yay. That's nice. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> I gotta say, it didn't sound very Dixieland to me, but it was a very cute song. So I'm quite happy. Hopefully we'll get that in the mail. And I believe you can request more songs. Um, I'm not going to do that because I'm really worried about the light here. Right on, man. Why don't you give your pockets a glance? I slipped you a boot of the show. It was like unreal. Thanks for tuning your dial in my direction. Really? You put it in my pockets? Like, hey. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you some of the work that I did yesterday. Um, and that starts with this path. So I have connected this path up here. And I have installed a fence over here. And I've redone the flowers. 
Um, this one had yellow mums around and this one had red ones, but they looked quite weird with these guys across the fence. I thought, eh, it's just too much, too spammy of the mums and it kind of took away from all of the mums. So what I decided to do is we're having pink lilies over here. Of course, these are a hybrid color, so we don't have enough yet. Um, but hopefully one day soon we will. And then here I just decided to put uh, white tulips. Now I'm unsure whether I should ring this tree with flowers. Uh, this is my free section and it often overflows with stuff and it's gonna because once I'm done with a project I'm doing, I'm gonna have a lot of clothes to give away. So yeah, that, I don't know what to do about that. But I'm thinking either, you know, I have seen some really cool uh, marketplaces that people have. They put out the stalls and they have items on the stalls. I was like, wow, that's quite cool. The only problems with those I've noticed is I went up to look at them and you can't see the item, what it is on the stall. You kind of have to pick it up, I think, in order to get it. So I don't know if that's a good option or not. But anyway, I put paving up to the bridge here, moved these uh, cosmos over here. We still have the little uh, teacup ride, which is nice. And then I had the fence over here. None of this stuff moved. It was just uh, fenced in. I figured it's a nicer thing than having this stuff exposed and it's, and it's safe for running. That's a good thing, you know, too wide path and there's a tiny bit of uh, area to run. Now, the next thing is probably to extend the path up here to the Able Sisters shop and then this little house over here. Um, I don't know what I'll do here. I'm I'm thinking of just leaving it as grass. I gotta move these two cat thingies. I, I intended them to be like, hey, I have cat stuff, come and ask me about it. But um, nobody's asked me about it, so it's obviously not doing its job here. <laughs> so that's a thing. But anyway, let us go up and um, there's another area that I have been working on. We'll go, uh, maybe we'll go around the beach side. That's fine. I added some flowers here. I think it's too much. I think these flowers are way too much over there. Gotta remove them, but it's okay. This is looking okay. I kind of, I'm not sure if I'll keep the bunny balloons or not because they, they look a little bit too busy. I kind of wanted to have this sort of like half abandoned. Oh, there's a balloon. Hello. Uh, oh, it's a good balloon. Hooray. Um, anyway, I wanted to, uh, just put out more furniture for the furniture score. So that's why the balloons are there in the first place. But, eh, I don't know if it's a great, great thing uh, to keep forever. Okay, let's see. We have a campfire cookware. That sounds quite festive, actually. Wait, is that one useful? Or is that a bunny balloon? No, it's a bunny one. You know what? I'll shoot it down because I know there's still people looking for bunny day recipes. So I might get one. I haven't got one in a long time, so it might be one. No, it's an egg. It's fine, though. Okay, campfire cookware. What does this look like? Place... Oh, that's great. Look at this. No, no, wait, no, 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 girly. I wanted you to, you know, activate the fire. Yes, look at this. Let's see what it looks like turned around. Arr. Cool. Looks like they're roasting their binoculars. <laughs> like hot binoculars. It's fine. Gosh, I like this. You know what? I'll leave it right there. I'm, I've been adding campfires to the beach because I think they're useful. Um, one thing also that I have been thinking about is I looked at the fish chart the other day and it occurred to me that I am always fishing after I do everything else. Like when there's nothing else for me to do, I go fishing. And that ends up being like quite late in the day and I'm missing the morning fish. So do check out those uh, fish things in the wiki uh, and they have, there's one really nice one, which I'll try to link if I remember in the description below. If I don't link it, just please remind me because I do not want to forget. Okay, we need this crawfish. No, no, I don't want to show it off. Thank you. I love that you can cancel that action before it happens. Oh, okay. okay, not showing the pro skills today, KOS. There we go. Um, but anyway, I'll link it. Uh, if I don't link it, remind me please uh, because I often forget. And because by the time we get to the end of the episode, who knows what's going to happen. So this is starting to become nice. We have the stairway in place. I think we might want to go get another something, either a bridge or a stairwell. And I'm going to think about where I want the next one. It's so nice that they only take one day to build. Wish you could do multiple per day. But this was the, um, the project I was thinking about doing today, if my hands were better, is remove a few of these cosmos here. 
and then have that kind of a winding path up to Annalisa's house. Uh, these guys are obviously in the wrong place for that, but I'm thinking about having kind of a big, I could even have a big flower bed over here. And then with the path going up and around like this, or diagonally is okay, but I'm not really keen on the way uh, the diagonals look. Another option would be just to have an S pass, just going, uh, go, going up this way and have the flower bed over here. That is another option. But um, maybe we'll have some furniture out here for her. Maybe we'll go midway. Maybe we'll go like here and here and up here. And to min-max this, we might have three tiles, like three colors of flowers that are breeding together, possibly hybrids of lilies. That, that might be a good idea to have that here um, for watering purposes. That's why they would be three wide and then have the path up here, like that level. So that could be working well. Now this is, I'm trying an experiment. Because when I look through things, um, I'll show you these things. I don't think I've edited the tulips at all today. So we're going to look at those real quick. I have a huge tulip field. It's big. Uh, and just look at how many hybrids I have. And ignore the, um, the ones that are picked. I think people accidentally picked some. So I had one hybrid over here, which I moved over here. That one's new. What is this? Did someone leave me a present? No, surely. Or did I plant? I know I think I planted this here. I remember. Okay, so I had one, two, three tulips out of this entire bed. I don't remember if I planted that one or not. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, if you were the mystery flower lever, thank you very much. Uh, then this one. That was three. No, four. Okay, four out of this massive, massive bed of tulips. I don't know the percentage of this, and I think it's kind of random, but... It's very low, I think. This bed, I had one, um, which is there. This bed is also quite big. I didn't touch this one, so we have one, two, three, four, five out of all of these flowers. So you can see how many empty spaces there are. Now, the point of me telling you this is to kind of go into this bed over here. So what I've got here is I am putting spaces between these because reds can breed with reds. I just didn't have enough reds to fill this in, but the whole s middle section is going to be checkerboard reds and then with solid whites and yellows on the sides. Now the idea here is to use up, to have more connections and flowers breeding with flowers, more chances to get flowers. And then the, the idea is also to leave this side completely empty and then have an empty road, row on this side as well. So yeah, I'm hoping that just gives us more uh, flower breeding chances for, I don't know, to roll the dice on those things. So yeah, that's the plan with that. Not sure if it's a good one. Let me know your experiences if you have different uh, means of breeding these these, these things. Uh, someone made the tip that the flowers can breed with anything within um, the eight squares around it. So yeah, this flower can breed with all three of these guys and with the red over here. So yeah, that's my thought there. All right, let's get on with this. I didn't have a chance to change this pathway to the stone. I have to admit, I'm really liking the brick here. So I'm very conflicted about, should I do stone? Should I not? Um, this staircase being stone is a bit of a problem. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with this. We'll see, we'll see. Um, all right, so there's a, there's a fish. And there are other fish I noticed that came in April that I haven't gotten yet. Even though I keep catching those darn loaches. Now this drove me a tiny bit crazy, um, but Miz was here for the delightful figuring of this out. I had to replant the entire hyacinth field because I didn't realize that, that whites would breed together and then uh, pink would breed with white. So I completely reversed the whole thing. I think it was used to be red, yellow, red, white or something. Um, but this is a far better breeding arrangement for hyacinths. Again, I just wasn't thinking when I looked at the chart. I think it was because I'm not really that fond of the hyacinths. They look a tiny bit weird to me. Um, but it's still nice to have the variety. And I do, I am already seeing the massive amount of those butterflies that are coming in. So nothing new over here. Let's, let's check on our roses. Now, I did a bit of a snafu with my roses yesterday. I think I forgot to water them, except for the fancy roses. 
Oops, here, let's get in here. Uh, so that was a bit of a silly thing that I did. Oh, hi, butterfly. How you doing? There we go. Oh, yes. And that's my new form of fencing on the other side of the of the, the way there. You see, we have dinosaurs preventing you going through. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to fence in this area or not. I haven't decided. I, I was a tiny bit worried after I did the crown uh, episode that I would be flooded with people like griefing. But nobody griefed. It was great. Uh, none of my flowers were destroyed. So I think I'm just going to take down the fencing and just have the flowers here for everyone to enjoy and look at. So I think I forgot to water them. Uh, I think I watered these guys, but we didn't get any hybrids from those. And this area, yeah, just this is still here. I might move down this, uh, this rose down here and this here and then water the whole thing with a golden watering can. So it's one uh, swipe. Oh, no, not there, not there, hold on. I'll just show you what I mean by this. Let's see, take this one here, okay. I'm so curious what those golden roses look like. I think um, it could be interesting. Okay, so here we go. Now, I don't know the um, the hitbox for that, but we'll have to see. So if I put this here, we can plant that one there, and then we'll have, you know, a, a three by three square of nine plants that we can water with the golden watering can and it will only take one tap of the button and therefore not use up more charges on our can. Okay, we'll go through here and then go back. I'm still not sure where I should put that other bridge. I, I really want to have one though because I don't want to waste a day and not have a bridge. I might choose to put an incline in and that might go over here. I'm thinking about putting um, an incline up here somewhere to access the uh, turnip area because this might actually we could we could edit this part this section here and just put one in. Hmm. That might be quite useful. We might have to edit that lake though. I'm not quite not very happy about that. All right, well let's let's look at it. Let's let's sort this out. Uh, the other thing I have is mail call, which we will be getting to very shortly. Okay, but if we have this there, we don't actually need turnips there. Now, the other thing is to be very fast with the turnips, I probably should put the incline right here and kind of cut into this area a tiny bit. Hmm. I wonder if that area is... I think this whole area is climbable, so it might be best not to have that there. I'm just thinking, should we have the entrance on this side? Of course, this entire area is not that uh, not that great. And I wonder if I would lose my five-star rating if I had the turnips going on here too much. That That's also kind of a worry. Let's see, what I could do is I can remove all of the fencing there. I'm, I wonder if I should cut in here. Let's see that. We need three, I think. One, two, three, and four. Because, oh, let's go and measure. Hold on. Hold on. We want to get this right. I feel a tiny bit worried because this area is not big at all. So, okay, so here we have... One cosmos, one on that side, one, two. So it's four in total, including the ledge that you start on. But I want to not have to use a ladder. That's the important part of this whole transaction. And if I could run up here, that might be even better. I could kind of get into this area as well. Let's see, we have one here. I would have to cut part of this down. Mm. Let's see. Let's just start doing something. Because if we don't do anything, that's kind of the worst part. Um, I'm worried about cutting off too much real estate. That's important to me to have enough space. So we can take that off and then put something. Put that over here. Let's put that rock over here. I like that stone tablet. It's very nice. Let's turn it around so people can see it. There we go. Or maybe even to the side. That was actually quite cool. Having it to the side. Leave that. Yeah. It's a bit like a stone fence. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. 
now arr, okay let's let's just start that this is kind of scary to me just a tiny bit oh no no come on come on i wanted the island designer app oh gosh i have to close the airport gate be right back all right i got my construction hat on right now and it occurred to me as i was running over here you start to get into this area and this tree definitely doesn't belong i think i want to plant more bamboo around here and so I'm running along this path here like this and it's kind of nice and I thought oh wow if I were to run up this it would feel horrible um, so I'm thinking about running this way running to the right and just up and that's the way I'm going to I'm going to want to store my turnips I believe uh, I don't want to just have this sort of stairway to heaven this kind of um, I don't know crazy um, sort of pyramidal structure that doesn't feel good to me so let's change that up a bit i want to remove the fencing here for now and we'll get that later actually i could probably remove all of this fence um because of this structure here uh and then can i get through here yes can i i can climb down there so i need one extra piece of fencing if i do it that way but I'm not sure I want to do that. Okay, let's remove this thing. Of course, the alternative is to fill in this area and push that um, that fountain over one block. Um, I am very much thinking about doing that. It does fit nicely into this groove, but if I put it here, I will have an extra tile of space up there. In fact, it's gonna be something like four tiles if you count the two tiles in the middle and then each diagonal. Now, do I want to do that? Is this convenient? This is actually quite convenient to run with. You don't get stuck on this. Let's see if I can run this way. Because I'm always going at full speed. Oh yeah, that's actually quite great. Because uh, if it's back, so you can push it one or two back. It fits very nicely in that alcove. Okay, that also works. That's fine. But I feel like this looks quite awkward. I don't know what about it is that way. Probably the path. But if I put two squares of path, it looks like too much. So I'm not sure what the solution is here. Whether maybe I should just... Maybe I should push this cliff out one more block. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to fix that another time. But uh, this area, I think I know what I want to do here. So let's have a tiny little wiggle in the road. Because wiggles are fantastic. Okay, let's go to cliff land. Okay. We're going to dig this way. Okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, we can make them not round. That's interesting. I might actually want to do that. Um, or maybe not. Let's see. What is that like? Okay, we can make it diagonal there. So, clunk, clunk. Okay, so this is one two squares three and four we need one more tile okay now does this cut in too much geez i think it does actually i think that cuts in way too much i don't like that at all i want to do something more natural than that no, 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 come back. Come back. No, give it back. <laughs> it's like, no, help. Help. No. Okay, let's go here this way, please. Fix. Thank you. It's a bit iffy to work this out here. Um, okay, so I think that used to be a diagonal or this one was the diagonal. I'm not quite sure and put a tiny bit more land on this thing what i'm thinking is i could just do a i could do a slim path through here maybe and then have this thing out here i kind of like these four bamboo but let's just cut one down and see if we cut the back one down these bamboo kind of were meant to be temporary. Yeah, that's the excuse we're going to use. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Let's chop this one down. And I should have just gotten fruit, I guess. But I've been lazy. I shouldn't even be lazy because I think I have fruit on me, don't I? No, I have fruit trees on me. It's a different thing altogether. <laughs> okay, so let's dig this up. 
and have, if we have a, a tiny path going this way, we could potentially have this cliffy thing coming out here. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this look natural or not. That's a that's kind of a worry for me. Uh, alternatively, we can just have the cliff come out. Let's see. Luckily, I have plenty of video footage of this in case I want to fix this back to the way it was later. Okay, hold on. Okay, so that is now a corner there. How do we want to do this? If we go run up and around that's actually a decent way to go uh, we could go this way as well now, if we take down this bamboo plant that's pro oh yeah oh yeah we need to hold this yes oh i didn't even see that basically we can restructure this entire area which i think needs to happen anyway okay we're just gonna chop it all down it'll be fine it will be fine, and the, the bamboo won't mind, I promise. Yeah, right, right, KOS. You say that, but uh, it's fine. Okay, this is nice. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. We're gonna actually be able to see what we're doing instead of mucking it up here. There we go. All right, and that area was the one that we had to fence off because of this. I think I want to do, like, instead of fences here, stones. Like, these standing stones look quite cool. And then at the edge, we can afford to have some more mums here. Okay, let's get this one out of the way. Take these up. Apparently, you're not allowed to have what the game has in some places, which is a double cliff. Um, so we're not going to be able to do that. All right, what if we do, yes, click on this, and then we want to have, we want to have two edges here. Well, let's look, let's look at one thing. Okay, so this is actually a pathway. So if we wanted, we could have this thing go here. Okay, this is one, two, three, and four. This would fit here, and then this path could go straight. Let's just, let's just make sure of this. Let's look at this here. Let's get out the, I think we had bricks here. Yes. So let's take this path this way. And the thing is, we could easily close this off too. Let's see, one, two, three, and four. Do we need, so this is one, two, and three two, three. So that is actually going to be staircase here. So we might need one more tile there if we put it there. Now that might do well to be a diagonal here, actually. We could do that. That's fine. And we could do this and have the staircase right up here and then run up to this edge. Now the question is, does that look terribly silly? It kind of does. Um, so we could move it over one. I'm also looking at this here. Like how many spaces do we have for a fence? Hmm. I think we should move it one. We should do something like this. I, I really want to have a more natural edge on the side and not just a square corner. I think it looks kind of dumb if we have square here. So we're going to chop that in half there and take this down and then half of this. And I think this is what we want here. And then we can have our path here. Okay, and then the question is what kind of um, stuff do we want to have? Oh no, I don't think we can do this. Here. Let's try this. Let's try to put it underneath the staircase slightly. Oh wait, hold on. One, two, three, and that's four. Oh, hold on. We could we could have. Um, I kind of got confused here. We can actually have something kind of a bit different here. No, 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 no. That was the wrong tile. No, aim properly, girl. Yo, there you go. There, that's better. 
So, okay, so we can run up here and then go this way. That works. I think that works as a, because turnip day is always a quick buy and sell. As it is, I feel like my turnip storage is way far from the airport. Um, but this is going to be a nice thing on non-turnip selling days. Uh, because, um, yeah, we'll be able to go up here and fish, which is going to be kind of cool. So I think this is a good place to put a new ramp. Now, question, what kind of ramp do we want? I like the staircase feature of this one. I think it looks really good also against the green of the bamboo. So I think we'll buy one of these guys. Let's go and uh, tell Tom Nook what our plans are. See if he can uh, help us out here. For a fee, of course. <laughs> Yes. Okay, there is KK Slider. Still doing the concert. I'm so happy the villagers are enjoying his presence. That's quite nice. All right. Hey, Tom. So, now the question is, do we brick or do we maybe logs? I don't know. Hello, hello. How can I help you? I would like to talk about um, infrastructure. Yay. I have about bridges and inclines in mind. Yes, I really want to deal with those. Let's build an incline, please. I am curious. Yes. All right. Let's go and pick one out. All right. Let's. right. We're back to the incline thing. Help. Now, we could do it as a log thing to make it look sort of half temporary. The ramps are quite cute, but I don't think they go with our decor very well. I'm still going, I think, brick. Brick looks nice. It looks so nice. I love the orange brick. As it happens today, my favorite color is orange. Um, natural looks good too. But I feel, I don't know, the bamboo is going to look great against the orange there. So let's go brick. Yes, I really would like to do that. Yes, please, Tom Nook. All right, let's settle on location. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Ray. All right, let's go and deal with this. And I have some money. Um, do I have enough money? Let's see. I don't know if I have enough. I have, let's see. I have 184. Is that enough? Oh, I'll just take out like, a little bit extra. I always like to have enough because otherwise it's a pain in the socks. So between buying of crowns and stuff, <laughs> I actually have very little money left in comparison to how much I had last week. And one thing I noticed is that on Thursday last week, I got a thing. Oh, whoops. No, we don't want to know. We're actually withdrawing. Sorry. Um, let's get another 80,000 out or so. I noticed I didn't get any kind of statement from the bank saying, hey, you got more interest. Um, maybe it's random. I'm not sure. I was kind of disappointed though, because I'm like, wow, I've had, you know, this money for almost a week. And where's my interest? I want bells. Give them here. So anyway, okay, let's go. Let's go. We'll go back and, um, yeah, good stuff. Okay. We're back here. I think this is good. I think, yeah, this is nice. That's very natural to go up this way and go around. Can I put a bricky thing over here? Right up against the wall? No. No, it doesn't. No, no, KOS. Of course not. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not a thing. No! Oh, don't do that, girl. Come on. Come on. We could do... No. Come on. Just one tile up, please. There we go. There you go. Nice. Okay. So we can just, like, make this this way. Like this. I still wonder, maybe we should try out the double path again. I don't know. Okay, so here, let's figure out the incline thing. Build here. Oh, that's great. Look at this. Look at that. It works perfectly. Uh, yeah, let's imagine this. See what it looks like. Ooh. Do we like this? Hmm. I'm almost wondering if the natural would be better now. Because I kind of, hmm, it kind of feels like a temporary situation where maybe natural is better. Can I ask Tom Nook to change this? I wonder if I can or not. Let's go find out. That I wish was kind of um, a little bit easier to change, you know, like 
Here's the incline. Let's imagine it in different ways, shall we? Come on, Tom Nook. Give us options. Tom, you know, I would really like something else instead. I hope I don't have to plan it, then cancel it, because that's going to be a pain in the socks. Then I might have to just, like, choose a different place for this brick incline here. Um, can I talk about the thing? I have it in my inventory. Bridges and inclines. Ah, how can I help? Let's not build it. Oh, yay! Okay! Oh! <gasps> Wow, okay, this is great. Okay, let's do it again. Let's have, I, I think we're going to go with the natural here. About bridges inclines. We're going to go with like a zen approach with this. Let's build an incline. Yes, yes, thank you. Natural, I think. I'm just thinking we might have bamboo across the front of it. The red is just too much red. I, I, or orange. I, I know that that is actually impossible, but um, unfortunately, yeah, we have to say it is too much orange today. Okay, let's go. Yes, we know. Thank you very much. We appreciate your input, Tom Nook. We're good. Thank you. Let's go. All right, now back to our thing. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay to change our minds. We need to just be happy that we're alive and working. Oh, by the way, I discovered you can put a wardrobe outside in case you have one of those Nook Miles quests that's like, hey, change your clothes. Okay, I'll take off my socks. Um, that's what I usually do. Okay, let's see how this looks. This is better. So it's much easier than waiting for the... Uh, Waiting for the, the scene transitions as you go inside and outside and all that stuff. I think that looks much better, yes. Okay. Now, however, I might need to change the, uh, the brickwork here. <laughs> also, one thing that I, I, I am do gonna do is take off this path. I don't like this at all. Because that's not good. I think we should end right here at the staircase. Maybe even cut this one. Yeah, there we go. I think that's going to be better. Hi, guy. Hi, creepy guy. Apparently, there were even more creepy ones in previous versions of Animal Crossing, according to comments. Um, we have zero bells, which is just lovely. Mm -hmm. All right. As much as possible. Yes, I shall be your benefactor guy. Thank you. Donate. Yay. All right. Good times. We reached our donation goal. Okay, so this is going to be kind of good. Now then, the question is what to do up here. Should we do anything? Maybe. Um, maybe we just leave it for turnips? Uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, we might do um, bamboo up here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's find out. Um, what do we want to do next? I think we want to look at the mail next, by the way. Let's close off our construction. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, the best way to do this is not having that, um, that, all that, te uh, text stuff. Hello? No, no, no. No, look, 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 girl. Get into the wardrobe. Hello? No, no, no. Where are you? Come on. Open it up. Yay! Cute wardrobe. Yes. Yes, I can't get changed. What? Oh, it used to change immediately. Oh, no. Now it makes you actually go through the app thing. Oh, darn it. Okay, it's fine. It used to do that. I don't know if it's because it's the outside wardrobe or um, or something. But, yeah, it didn't work that time. Sad times, but fine. All right, mail. I have a billion pieces of mail today. Many. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm just, wow. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> so, first of all, let's see. KFC worker. I watched your stream and it was very good. I'm a big fan. Thank you so very much, KFC Worker. I'm really uh, appreciative of that. Okay, let's throw this away. And let's see what KFC Worker has sent us. Let's see. Open. A party popper. Aw, that's nice. Thank you so very much for that. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, Let's get this message here from Ms. Matrix. Okay, what do we got here? I will close this, throw away. And another one from Miz. Thank you very much, Miz. 
throw away. Okay, and let's look at those two things. A serving cart. Oh, and oh, an incense burner. Let's look at those guys. Let's check these out. I need to probably chop down some trees here, though I love them. You know what? I'm not going to chop down the trees. We'll just deal with it. It'll be fine. Place item. Oh, that's a dark wood serving cart. I quite like this. So I have the light wood one inside, but you never can have too many serving carts for tea and such. Now the incense burner I'm thinking might sit right on top of that. Hooray. Okay, cool. Probably not while I'm in the house. Is that actually incense size? Hello? I can't tell. <laughs> All right. Thank you so very much, Ms. for those. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to check what else we have. Let's see. We have from Martin. Ooh. Oh, KK Jangara. Ooh, thank you very much for that. Let's see. Let's throw away this message. Okay, we know what that's going to be. It's another album. Hooray. Thank you very much for that. Okay. Uh, what else have we got? Alrighty. Um, so from Mom. Cherry blossom petals dance upon the wind like some kind of bizarre battalion of breeze ballerinas. <laughs> That's sad. It's not bizarre. It's beautiful. A smile graces my face as I watch the petals fall. All is well until... Achoo! Oh, poor thing. I... Oh, she gave me a present. What is this? A present from mom. What did she give me? Interesting. Mom's tissue box. Really? Okay. Interesting. Let's put this over here so we have more room. Place item. Oh my god. It is a mom's tissue box. Aw, that's cute. I have a more modern one that I bought at the shop the other day. Wow, that's that's very funny. Okay, keep it on going here. We have something from Talim. Oh what? An imperial bed. Oh my god, what is this gonna be? <laughs> Oh my god. Tell him. Wow. Okay. So apparently I wished for something and you y'all had it. Wow. Thank you. I want to see this. This is going to be great. I hope. <gasps> oh my god. It's perfect. Oh, thank you so much, Talim. This is perfect. Look at this. It is very, very red. It's got all the red things and I love the canopy there. This is fantastic. Can I lay down in this? Oh, it's so comfy. That's nice. Thank you very much, Tal. That, that is so great. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, let me clear some of this out because we have many more things to open. May have to put some of these in the inventory. I think one, maybe next episode, we might devote to like organizing some of the rooms because we now have two rooms to fill. Do I see? Oh, another one from Talim. Oh my god. A cuckoo clock. <laughs> My god oh that sounds great oh wow a cuckoo clock okay we can't open that outside so i have to take that inside and look at it okay so we're gonna keep that for inside thank you very much talon for that i can't wait to see it i'm very curious what that looks like all right so back to the bottom we have one from lynn enjoy your train oh lynn found a train oh my god Oh, this is great. Okay, let's go inside. We gotta go and see. <laughs> we have to see the train and the cuckoo clock. <laughs> oh, these are so great. By the way, anybody who has sent me something, thank you so very much. And if you want me to send you anything back, just say, and I am very happy to do so. I am so thankful that you're sharing your items with me. It's just lovely. It's so great. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. It's so cute. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, designer app. Hello, we need to fix this. Okay, let's put this back. Oh, I got those desks, by the way. I ordered two from the cattle. They are so expensive. They're like 10,000 bells a piece. So here, we could very much go crazy. Or we could put them like this and make them a little bit more interesting. I think that's better. <laughs> that's much better. All right, let's see if what we what the cuckoo clock looks like. That looks so good. Here we go. Cuckoo clock goes there we go oh oh that's so cute oh my god that's perfect i wonder oh no wait 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 hold on we can't put it that high because um hold on hello hello 
wait, how do we do this? Oh yeah, plus sign, yep. We want to put it lower so we can actually see the thing. That's kind of important. Let's put it between these two objects so you can actually see the thing. Oh, this is great. Oh my god, we have train sets. <laughs> this is so nice. Thank you so much. And look, there's a tiny little train station village thing. There's even a tiny little, little sign. Okay, I'm going to stand right here. Oh my god, we're cuckooing. This is great. Let's zoom in to this section here. No, no, no. Wait, I want to look at this tiny, tiny oopsies. Hold on. No! All right, fine game. You want to be that way? It's okay. It's fine. I can deal with this. This is just fine. Look at that. Look at those tiny little villages. There's a little name plaque for the station, as there should be. And they have trees and cherry trees blooming. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> I can just stand here all day. Even the train is covered in snow. Isn't that charming? Oh, this is great. Skyland Railway is now through two seasons of the year. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'm very excited. Can you tell? I'm <laughs> just slightly. Hey, Cuckoo Clock, how you doing? I guess it... Oh, it probably goes on the hour. Goodness me. Wait, is it? Seven o'clock, yeah. Okay, cool. So we have to come up here on the hour to see it go cuckooing to us. I didn't realize we were so close. I thought it was like a random thing, but apparently not. It's actually working on real time. Oh my god, trains. <laughs> I get slightly, <laughs> slightly excited about those. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm like overflowing with happiness now. <laughs> it's so nice. Okay, Rico has sent us something. Um, okay. Oh, no, wait, wait. Delete. Throw away. Okay. M message there. I saw this and thought you would want it. Oh, thank you, Rico. Let's see what this is. Oh my god. Oh wait, hold on. Okay, let's see what Rico has sent to us. Oh, I get so excited. <laughs> An overall dress. What is this looking like? Oh my gosh, that's cute. I love it. Thank you so much, Rico. That is adorable. Oh yeah, let's have a fashion walk in our socks. Oh yes, go right down that pathway and turn and turn and turn and turn and go back up to the mailbox. Thank you very much, Rico. That is adorable. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's cool. I love the colors you chose too, the, the green and yellow. That's neat. Okay, Luna has sent a ton of stuff. Let's just open all of Luna's things. Shiny? Oh God. Oh God, is it shiny? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. A shiny new not a cat tower. Oh my God. I'm suddenly feeling like I might be slightly overwhelmed <laughs> with really not a cat tower. Oh my god. Am I going to have to fill an entire room with cat towers? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my god. Comedian's outfit. Okay. What is this? <laughs> oh cool. You know what? I have the pants for this. This is great. Oh, that's cute. I have the purple. I have all the pants. Um... And I have, oh, basic teacher's desk. It really isn't a cat tower. Hello. Okay. And then we've got a clothes closet. Let's look at these things. Okay. Basic teacher's desk. Let's find out this, what that's looking like. I'm not a cat tower. I thought, I thought for sure it was going to be a cat tower. That's very funny. Let's see. Turn this guy around. Hello. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it's very much like an old, um, I don't know, that's the kind of teacher's desk my teachers had in school. It's kind of like wooden with metal uh, stands. Thank you very much for that. That's cool. And a clothes closet. Oh my god. And here I was thinking that it might be something more outdoorsy to match this thing or to, to, to make this one not quite so bright. <laughs> but it is fabulous. My goodness, that is pink. <laughs> that's great thank you so much <laughs> oh wow i'm gonna have to find places to put all of these lovely items thank you everyone oh my god is there more no no thank god there's no more okay sam a tasty treat from my cat okay i wonder what it is because my cat is invisible my cat doesn't usually uh yeah doesn't usually make an appearance cat really <laughs> Holy fuzzy cats, we actually have cat grass in the game. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> this is 
is hilarious. Like, this is seriously hilarious. So, yes, we have all of the accoutrements for the invisible cat, and now we have the cat grass. Oh my god, game. Why is there no cat in the game? So, John has sent me one. Oh, please put this in the code. Oh, I wonder if that is going to be the Pac-Man cat. Pac-Man thingy majingy. Can I, uh, let's favorite this and then we'll go back. All right. I need to screenshot this and, um, and figure this out. Hold on just a second. All right. I have taken note of that and we're going to try that on. Actually, let's look at it right now in our designer app. So. I think we go, I, they moved all the icons around. I wish they wouldn't like push them to the side or let us choose where we want certain ones. Uh, because like, I never look at the Critterpedia. That should be on the second page. Best friends should be closer to the front. Passport, eh, I guess second page is fine. But I get so used to where they are. I'm like, now I can't find anything. It's so horrible. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. We want to put in a design. How do we do this? Can we do something like this? Let's see, change design. And so, oh, this is just the drawy thing. Uh, I think what we need to do is probably go to the Able Sisters for this. Do we, are, are they open right now? Let's see, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, here we go. I think that's what needs to be done. Gotta go to the Able Sisters. They will be able to help us. Hey, Mabel, how you doing? So, and she just chats with us. Yay, made here in the shop by my sister. So I am starting to talk to Sable. If you need something, talk to the other hedgehog, please. Oh, doesn't chat. Yeah, apparently if you talk to her for a few days in a row, she would, oh my God, she's getting annoyed now. She gives you free stuff. Uh, so no, 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 go away, go away, Mabel. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, so let us look here and see, yes, access the kiosk. And we're gonna put in this code that we have. I have it on my other screen. Thank you, Nintendo, we are waiting for you. Hooray. So we're going to search by design ID. I, b I believe it is a design ID here. Uh, can we not have this part of it? Uh, B? No, B, B, B. Search by, maybe it's creator ID. Oh no, I don't know which one it is. Um, I guess let's just try this one. Sure. Okay. 9B2M dash CT. 2T and M and E Ray. See if that will find what we want. Oh, cool. Pac Man KOS. Oh my god. It has a KOS on the back of it. Holy crazy cats. Thank you so much, John. This is absolutely crazy cool. <laughs> Oh my god this is fantastic thank you very 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 much for that wow that's fun oh my god okay so let's go out of here and see it no 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 go away go away i clicked the wrong button thing don't punish me for that no don't do it uh no okay no oh my god i keep pressing b and there's no like if i press b it should yeah get out of it it's so strange that it's kind of non-consistent in the interface that way but anyway we finally escaped this is great okay so we need to wear this thing let's find out how to do that exactly okay where did it go it is here oh my god this is so great <laughs> look at this it's a back man now, I just had a look, and this was the same John who came over and showed me another design. So we're going to download that one as well. This is a uh, a hat that I saw him wear. He came over to my island, and I'm like, oh my god, that's so cool. Let's go and look at this. I want to see the whole outfit together, because this is just amazing. So the kiosk was not wrong. We still needed to access it. It was arguing with me. Something fierce. But yeah, we got to do it. 
got to get this one. So this is a Pac-Man hat, which is amazing. It's W2JJ6LR0. KGB. No relation. Two. Yeah. There we go. Look at this. Is this not great? <laughs> this is so good. Oh my god. Pac-Man hat. Here we come. Thank you, John, for sharing this design with me. They are pretty darn amazing. Do we want to save? Didn't we just save it? I think we did. I think we did. I think we're good. Okay, go away. Yes, all done. We're really done. We're fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then we'll get this hat out. Let's go. Let's go. Custom designs. Yes, they move the icon. It's sad times. Where? <laughs> it was so funny because the other day I felt like a Pac-Man. Uh, this is great. Thank you so much, John. Look at this with a KOS and the wings on the back. Oh my god, that is so cool. Oh, let's go outside. Oh, actually, this is better because outside it's dark. Wow, this is great. Thank you, thank you so much, John, for going to the effort and sharing the things and making the KOS thing. That is so darn cool. I love it. <laughs> Mabel agrees. She's like, yay, you have found something cool and I didn't even sell it to you. Don't worry, Mabel, I bought from you earlier in the day. <laughs> this is so cool. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, everyone, for all of your gifts. It's so nice of you. Really nice. All right, we have a few more. We have one from Cetria. Not sure if you have this, but it will amuse me to see you open it. Still, hope you enjoy. <laughs> okay. I want to see this. All right. So throw the message away. Okay, Satria. I want to see what this is. Hmm. Oh, my God. Huh? Oh, I can't even breathe now. We need to go inside immediately. We will. <laughs> the other messages will wait. We'll have a more than hour video. It'll be fine. YouTube won't care. Oh, my God. Let's go. We gotta go upstairs. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. I am slightly delighted. You can kind of tell. Oh my god. Uh, sure. Oh my goodness. We've got train tracks going on here. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's see what happens if we put it vertically. Okay, we're gonna uh, place this one on the floor. Place this one vertically. Oh wow, we actually have train tracks. We'll have to move the train so that they're safe from the tracks. Hold on. <laughs> Help! Oh my god, this is quite funny actually. Like making this a design thing. A <laughs> platform and two trains going on. <laughs> this is fantastic, Cetria. This is absolutely great. We need to figure out how we want this to work because this is quite cool. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Thank you so very much for this. This absolutely makes the room. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I'm going to put the rest, some of these items in storage for now. And I will, um, we need to have a day where we go and organize our rooms. God, that is funny. Oh my God, that is so funny. That's great. <laughs> oh, train station flooring. I had no idea. I mean, I did get a parking lot floor. And I think that's for people who want to like have uh, bikes and scooters and stuff like to display it's quite cool for that but um yeah oh my god we have two from silver thank you for letting me visit please feel free to visit in return anytime oh that's so nice what skyland would be complete without a fluffy cloud rug best wishes from silver oh that sounds lovely thank you very much silver i have not seen a fluffy cloud rug yet for a fellow cat lover oh boy <laughs> The cat things. Okay, let's go inside and open the presents. And um, I'm not sure upstairs is the best place for the fluffy cloud rug. But downstairs might be. And I have uh, I have an interesting item I want to make, actually. No, maybe we'll save that for the next video. Okay, let's see this fluffy cloud rug. This is great. This is so funny. Spread out. <laughs> That's great. I love this rug. Isn't that cool? Look at the edging. It's almost like a rope around the edge. That's quite cool. I like it. Oh, it's so nice underneath the socks here. Yeah. Oh, that's so soft and fluffy. 
Hey. Oh, thank you very much for that silver. Really appreciate it. And here's the cat item. What is this? A paw print door plate. Aw. There's no space to hang this. Are you serious, game? <laughs> like, there's a whole wall here. Aw, that's so cute. Aw, thank you so very much, Silver, for that. These are great. Thank you, everyone, for all the awesome things that you sent me. I'm really, really excited about them. They're pretty darn cool. Okay, so let's um go back upstairs. I'm thinking we probably just need to wrap up this episode. I am having such a great time, and um, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of... Um, of my land of sky again thank you to everyone who helped water today i really really appreciate that like more than i can even tell you so um really saved my hands today um anyway thank you everyone for joining me uh, take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time